Hey guys, it's Kara here and I'm back with another video. This time I'll be unboxing this case from Geekshare uh, for the Nintendo Switch and also I'll be painting the Nintendo Switch. Okay, don't freak out. I'm not painting directly on it. I'm actually going to be um, painting on top of this washi tape and then putting it over because I want a white border but then I don't want to get a skin for it and I just want that part to be white and so I could just buy washi tape that's white but you know I that's I don't have that so I you know let's just see if this works I'm not actually gonna get it on the switch I'm gonna paint it on this first and then take it out and then reapply it but first let's try on this case from Geekshare and I want to show you guys my my, my current case the link in the description they're all affiliate links so if you do buy from them it will help out the channel this one is actually the cheaper um, um, version of the Tom 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 talk I'm not exactly sure of the more expensive there's a $20 version of this but I got this for six dollars on Amazon so I'll leave the link to this this one below I just put some cute stickers on it and some keychains so yeah, first let's put on the case because I've seen some YouTubers get this case, but they got the pink one. Um, I don't I haven't seen anyone that got the blue one. I don't know how it looks like. You know, I was worried like, oh, would it look different and stuff? And I want to see if it'll still fit on the Switch and the, the controller. So let's just see. Let's see. Let's just take it out. Put this off to the side. All the writing is in Japanese. So let's put this away. Let's start with the Joy-Cons. Let's just take them out. Oop, I guess that's for the... This. There we go. It's in so far. Let's put on the cover. Okay, oh my god. So cute and it feels really, it, it feels pretty soft. And there's an extra little bolt right here, which worries me because I feel like it won't be able to get into this. And I was right, I was right, you see? Because the regular switch, I mean, the regular switch controller, see the bottom is flat only, this part folds it out. And that's to help it go into here, so uh, I guess that's the downside of this case. That you won't be able to use, there's no way for it to go in because that huge bulbing part, I don't know. Uh, but, oh well, I, I guess I don't really use this one as much. I guess if I do need to use it, I have to take the whole case off. Let's apply the other one. But now before I apply the other one, I just wanted to show you guys and see how easily the regular Switch controller goes in. Because I'm trying to show you guys that because there's no bulge at the bottom, because it could get through this whole part. And now look at this. Not as smooth because see, this is stopping it right there. So that's the downside of this case, which is a total bummer actually. Oh man. But for now, you know, I have the I have the Super Smash controller, so it's okay. I don't have to worry about that one. The things we do for aesthetics. I could still reach all the buttons fine. I got one. This power button still accessible. Um, but my only downside for this case, the main downside, is that it gets kind of dirty easily. I think I got my makeup on it a little bit because I did open this earlier to try it out. And it's really hard to reach the removal, like the button to remove the switch Joy-Cons controller. So that's the downside of this. It's, yes, it's really nice, but I, it's not built for convenience, I guess. But it does feel good, like this part feels good, but then it doesn't fit into the Switch controller. Let's just see if this whole thing could still fit into the Switch. So, the Switch dock. Alright guys, so the goal is for it to get through the USB Type-C and the two pin connectors on the side. So let's see if it could do that with the case on it. So let's just see, let me put 
this one down. But my TV was in frame, so let's just do that again because the uh, oh wait, it's kind of okay. It's a tight fit. That's one thing that I'm gonna admit about it. But as expected, it is a case. But let's just see if it can. Climb. My TV is on, I swear. Or it's not. Let's just try it again. Oh yeah, my TV wasn't even on. Let's see if it works. Yep. Oh, and it works. It works with the case in. But again, it's really hard to take out the Joy-Cons the way the buttons are. I have to physically look. So let me just take, take it out. Okay, taking it out. Again, it's a tight fit, but it still works. Yeah, I, I think you have to click it in place. You have to remember to kind of like push down a little bit more for it to work. And there we go. It works with the case. Now let's get into painting mode. All right, now for the painting part, I'm just using some cheap white acrylic paint that I got at Michael's for art class that I had a couple semesters ago. So we're just gonna take out the Joy-Cons. Oh boy, I'm recording this process because it's so hard to reach. Like, this is cute, but is it worth all this effort? <laughs> I think it is. Be bold. I'm just gonna do it right on the case. Right on the switch, I mean. So let's just have to be precise. All right guys, I'm gonna board. I'm just gonna do it on the roller tape because I just got it on the switch. I knew I would, but oh boy. Let me get a paper towel. Maybe I'm just wasting paint and time, but I'm having a fun time. few minutes I'm gonna stop and see if my efforts are, are like working if what I'm trying to do is achievable you know it might be kind of messy but I, I think I like the rustic look of it Alright guys, now I'm going to add some accent color with a tiny, tiny paintbrush and this blue color so I can match it just on the corners, nothing too fancy. Just going back in a little bit for slightly more detail because my paint was starting to dry out. Alright, now that the paint has dried, we're gonna put on back the backing on this. So let's just try to take off the joy cons again. And there we go guys. Oh boy, oh, I'm so happy that I did this. I really like the way it came out. Let me do a couple close-ups. So it does look kind of like rough and DIY, but it kind of feels like it fits me, my personality as an artist, compared to if I just got white paint. Yeah, it would have kind of looked more sleek. You guys could do that route too. You guys could do a different design. And let's look at the back. Oh boy. All right, I have to show you guys that you could still reach the kickstand in this case. So, oh boy, so it's cute from the back. The top looks, yeah, it's funky, but oh well. And here's the front. It was inspired by this Zelda skin of the Nintendo Switch. And I like Zelda, but I didn't want to get the whole skin. I just wanted the white part, but then at the same time, I didn't want it to go all the way down. And I I didn't know how to just buy the white part of the thing. And then it just came to me like, oh boy, I could do, th what if I just paint it? Like, you know, I put tape on it and I see if it works. And I, you know, I was like, you know, what if I paint it and do my own design? Uh, 
And if you guys are more skilled painters, because I'm a digital artist, but I'm no painter, that's why my heart kind of looks like this. You could do more intricate, cool design. And this was a, like a cheap, cheaper way to do this without getting a skin. I definitely am thinking about trying to paint out a whole switch using this whole, whole tape method. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm definitely going to do another video trying to pimp out my friend's switch. So, but overall, I really, really enjoy this. Hopefully, maybe I could do something similar with my dock. That's something I could definitely do, just put a tape over it and just paint. So, guys, I forgot to add that it's important that the tape that I'm using is washi tape. Let me show you guys the inside. See washi tape? And the reason I'm using that is because it's not as sticky and I could easily rip it. And over time, you don't want sticky residue to be on your switch because it kinda gonna, it's kind of going to make it look all yucky and weird and stuff. You could still scratch it out, but use any cheaper tape. And also the other reason that I use washi tape is because I could, you see the ports, I forgot to mention that um, after you're done, you can easily just kind of rip, rip out the part without ripping the whole thing compared to other types of tape. That's why I really recommend using washi tape. They're really cheap. I think they have them in dollar store and because it makes it so, so much easier. I didn't do this on camera, but I was able to like easily rip this part so that I could reach the power button and the volume button so that's why i recommend washi tape and i wanted to add that i didn't think this would work or turn out as well so i'm thinking that next time i could definitely just get a clear case or just maybe a solid color i could try painting the whole switch but for now i'm happy with this solution because i just wanted the white border and again i was just trying to save money so if you guys enjoy this please share it with your friends or anyone that might find it cool because you don't need any artistic strong ability for this to work it's just something cool that can make your switch look really awesome if you're doing it on the screen i definitely recommend just instead of wiping it off with a little this because that makes it go everywhere just use your nails if you have like just scratch it off instead of like wiping it off and that that worked so much better so if you guys enjoy this i'll see you guys in my next video like comment subscribe down below and i'll see you guys next time bye